Manga Wido. My name is Tetsuo Hasakura. I work in the general affairs department of a hospital. I have children, but I'm single now. I finished changing the light bulb. Thank you so much. No problem. Please call me anytime you need something. The hospital I work at has been supporting this area for a while, so the building is old and we don't have enough workers. So the general affairs department has to do random jobs like this. Work is busy, but everyone here is kind and being thanked made my days happy. When I got back to the office, a doctor and a trainee doctor passed by. The patients are not going to take you seriously with that behavior. Yes, yeah, sorry. Dr. Matsuda is going on today as well. Yeah. Dr. Matsuda is a young doctor who is currently the hot topic of conversation in our hospital. He is a cardiac surgeon who came to this hospital a few months ago. He's a 32-year-old elite doctor who graduated from medical school abroad and became a doctor at a famous university hospital at a young age. He is said to be very skilled, but he's so foul-mouthed that people around him have a hard time dealing with him. There is also a rumor that he quit the previous hospital after a dispute with the director. I'll go on break now. Okay. Since work had calmed down, I headed to a hospital room on my break. Hello. Oh, Hasakura. She is Yuka Matsuda. She's a pregnant woman who was recently hospitalized and was actually a classmate of mine from junior high school. We ran into each other again just the other day when I received a call that the TV was not working. She was bored and wanted someone to talk to, so I come here on my break. I call her by her maiden name, Utsumi-san. Listen, the hamburger I ate for lunch was so good. Really? Hospitals are really amazing. It's rare for someone to make me food since I'm married, so I'm really grateful. If the cook heard that, they'd cry of joy. When we were talking for a while, the door opened. When I turned around, Dr. Matsuda was standing there, frowning. Hey, what are you doing here? What? Leave. Hey, you don't have to get angry. It's alright. I used to go to school with her, so we started talking. I'm sorry. Saying that, I tried to leave. Um... Dr. Matsuda looked at me and laughed. Oh, you're Hasakura. You're the pussy that ran away during a surgery. Where did you hear that? It's famous. I thought you ran away, but you're still here doing chores. Aren't you embarrassed doing this kind of job at your age? Kichi, stop it. Uh, say something. Is something wrong? Mori, the doctor in charge, rushed in from the hallway. It seemed like it was time for a consultation. Senpai, are you all right? Y yeah. Huh. How are you feeling, Yuka? I'm fine, Keiji. Yes, Utsumi-san and Dr. Matsuda were married. I saw the hospital food today, but you'll probably get better food at other hospitals. Maybe we should have went to a newer hospital than a run-down place like this. I told you already. This place is well-known in this area and has good reviews. And the doctors are nice. Right, Dr. Mori? Oh, thank you. Listen to their conversation, I left the room. After work, I headed to my go-to bar. Oh, Mori. Hey, you're here! Mori went to the same university as me. There are a lot of weird doctors, but because Mori is one of the nice ones, the nurses like him as well. That thing today, that was bad. Oh, Dr. Matsuda? It's fine. It's true, so... But he didn't have to say it like that. I'm just happy that you say that. Thanks. You're serious, so I think that's why you could continue to work so hard in the general affairs department. But I really look up to you as a doctor. Are you not planning to go back to being a doctor? I can't. Why? Is it because of your wife? I don't have the right to go back. I opened my phone. On the screen there was my wife, Akari, with her never-changing smile. I used to have a bright wife like the sun. 
I found out that she was pregnant and was ecstatic. I did my best for Ikari and our son-to-be. I was planning to send Ikari to the hospital where I worked and have her give birth. Yes, I used to be a gynecologist. It feels weird. What does? I'm in hospital, but you're here, so it feels like I'm at home. I'm glad that you're relaxed. <laughs> because I trust you. Then the day of the birth... <laughs> my son Satoru was born. I thanked Akari and felt relieved when... Doctor, your wife! Akari's condition suddenly changed. She's experiencing anaphylactic shock-like symptoms and cannot stop bleeding. Why? Health checks just prior to delivery were supposed to be fine. No. Does she have amniotic embolism? I started panicking as my wife started getting closer to death. I need to do something. I need to do something. With trembling hands, I frantically worked on the procedure. But... Akari didn't regain consciousness and pass away without ever holding Satoru. I killed Akari. I didn't know how to face Satoru, so I put him in my parents' care. I quit work and stayed inside the house that Akari and I lived in. I wanted to forget the pain, so I would drink from morning to night. But I was paying Satoru's child support, so I ran out of savings. I need to start working. A few years later, I was looking for a job and saw that they were hiring someone in general affairs in a nearby hospital. As if guided by something, I applied for the job and was offered it, which is why I'm here today. How old is your son? He turned six this year. I actually haven't met Satoru that many times. He probably thinks I'm just some uncle or something, but it's fine like that. This might be bold to say, but... Maybe you actually want to see your son. Uh... Then why don't you become a doctor again and see your son? You look good in a suit, but you look better in a doctor's coat. No, a suit is perfect for me. Senpai. Let's stop talking about this. Let's drink. Then we started complaining about work and reminiscing on our university lives and end of the night. The next day, I was walking around the hospital when I bumped into Utsumi-san. Hello. I can't go see her today after what happened yesterday. I quickly tried to leave. Wait, do you have a minute? Huh? Yeah? I'm sorry that my husband acted like that yesterday. No, you don't need to apologize. No, I'm really sorry. He's too confident and he gets cocky. He quit the last hospital because he argued with the doctor. So, that rumor was true. But he's usually really sweet. I think he acts cocky because he's actually insecure. Even though he saves lives, he has to deal with people's hearts. I saw him shivering in his room once. It must be a lot of pressure. But that doesn't mean he can act like that. I also told him. Then it's enough. Don't worry. Yeah. Thanks. Then we slowly started talking about other things. She's giving birth soon. I want to quickly meet my child, but I'm also scared. I started looking up risks of giving birth and deaths and stuff. I understand how you feel, but in Japan, you're not likely to die by giving birth. And the doctors here are passionate about saving patients. Saying that, I thought about my wife. Yeah, you're right. And the most important thing is their life. If they become happy, then it doesn't matter what happens to me. The bigger my stomach became, the more I started to think that. Looking at Tsumi-san rubbing her belly, I got reminded of something. When Akari was in the hospital, she was always writing something, so I asked her what she was writing. I'm writing down things I want to do when he's born. Um, catch ball, fishing, kite flying, going on trips together and showing them nature. I also want to go to an amusement park and go on the Ferris wheel together, take photos and put on the same headbands. <laughs> so many things. Yes, but mostly I just want to make sure they get to do everything they want to do. 
Yeah, Akari wanted Satoru to be happy more than anything. And I haven't fulfilled that at all. Hasakura-kun? No, oh, sorry, I spaced out. But you're already a great mom. Thanks. <laughs> Good luck on your delivery. Yeah. Then, one month later, that day, I was a little fidgety. It was at Sumi-san's due date, and she was in the delivery room. I hope they both come out fine. The moment I thought that... Whoa! Ah! It was an earthquake, and a pretty big one. Everyone, go under your desks! I said that, and also went under my desk. What? A power outage? What is going on? After the earthquake had stopped, I checked up on everyone. There doesn't seem to be anyone injured. I'll leave the office to you. I'll look around the hospital. Be careful! I ran around the hospital to check if anything was wrong. The surgery room has backup power, so it should be fine, but... I wonder if Utsumi-san is alright. I kept checking, and then Mori came out and running up to me. Mori! P please help! What happened? Mori said that Utsumi-san's delivery went safely, but... Right after the delivery, her condition suddenly changed! And the backup power went out, so we can't operate! What?! I headed to the operation room and saw someone crouching in front of the door. Dr. Matsuda! Hey, you! You heard doctor, right? Please do something! I'm not a gynecologist, so I can only ask you! But, uh, bye. No buts! Please calm down. Right. You're a gynecologist too, right? Please do something! She's my precious life! Precious wife. Then the images of Akari on the operating table losing consciousness crossed my mind. Mori is panicking. Do I have to do this? Can I do this? Then... Tetsuto, you can do it. Akari? I heard Akari's voice. I believe in you. Am I becoming delusional because it's an emergency? But because of it, I was able to clear my head. If this kid can become happy, then it doesn't matter what happens to me. It does matter what happens to her. You need to live and hug your child! Senpai! I can't do it! I can't perform an operation in the dark, so please! Uh, please! Dr. Matsuda, please lift your face. Please! Okay. Then! Yes, I'll do the best I can. Thank you! Thank you so much! Mori, it's been a long time since I've operated, so please help me. I yes! I went to the operating room and gave orders to the nurse. Bring the backup power supply from Warehouse 3! Come on, come on, come on! Y yes I remembered that we bought a new backup power supply for the General Affairs Department. The information was shared with everyone, but now patients are being taken to emergency rooms one after another, probably due to the earthquake. In this emergency, people were so panicked that they could not remember. Before the reserve power supply arrived, he made an effort to assess the patient's condition. The bleeding was severe, and if it continued at this rate, the situation would be dangerous. I brought it! I'll plug it in! Okay, let's start! Yes! yes! Please, Akari, give me strength. <sighs> I didn't think it would turn out like this. Hasakura-san? Someone said my name from behind me. It was Dr. Matsuda. Thank you for today. Thank you for saving my wife Yuka's life. I just did what anyone would have. I humbly beg your pardon. And please, let me apologize for how I've acted. I'm terribly sorry. No, it is true that I ran away from being a doctor. But I was saying all that because I'm weak. My father used to work a cleaning job. He didn't make a lot of money, but had a lot of kids, so we were poor. I couldn't forgive him for being so frivolous. I didn't want to turn out like him, and before I knew it, 
I had a hatred toward anyone that had similar jobs to him. Really? But after this, I finally realized... A hospital isn't only run by doctors and nurses. You taught me something so obvious. You saying that is enough. Go be close to your wife now. Her anesthesia should be wearing off soon. Yes. Thank you. Saying that, Dr. Matsuda went back to Utsumi-san. I looked up at the sky. The bright sun reminded me of Akari. Akari, I won't run away anymore. Watch over Satoru and me. Oh, Mom? Sorry for the sudden call. Um, can I go over there this weekend? Yeah, I want to see Satoru and apologize. Right then, the sun sparkled. It felt like Akari was wishing me luck. <laughs>